Hey college football fans, welcome to another episode of Walk It Off with Chappie. And as I pan up, hopefully you can see I am at Cardinal Stadium here in Louisville, Kentucky. And if you see behind me, it's the uh, Cardinal Express. So we're talking Louisville Cardinals today. And we, we've talked about the ACC predictions and yours truly. I was calling for Louisville to be a team that you're going to have to really look out for in the ACC Atlantic. Now a lot of people talk about Clemson being back this year, I'm one of them. A lot of people with a lot of hype on NC State, but don't look past the Louisville Cardinals. I'm actually taking U of L to take second place in the Atlantic with a win over those NC State Wolfpack. Even though I think NC State wins 10 games, I have Louisville winning 8. I think their conference record will be a little bit better. So how? How the hell can you do that, Chappie? Well, let's start on the defensive side because that's where a lot of people have questions about the University of Louisville. I think that they'll be better than what they've been previously. Uh, Brian Black is doing good things with that defense. You look at their front seven. Yaya Diaby, Ashton Gelati, who had a good freshman year last season. They bring in Jermaine Lillet, a high-profile nose tackle from Arizona State. I believe he was all Pac-12 second team a season ago. So those are your front three. And then at linebackers, Yasir Abdullah was all ACC last season. Monty Montgomery is a guy who comes back with some experience. They bring in Momo Sonogo from Ole Miss, who if he's healthy, he's a banger. He's gonna clean things up in the middle there. And then in the secondary, Really good corners. Keitrell Clark. They bring in Quincy Riley from uh, Middle Tennessee State. And, you know, then you go into their, their safeties. They're, they're pretty deep. That's a secondary. Even though their numbers statistically weren't great last year, they made strides and things were improving and things got better. So I think that they'll be better in that sense. Then on the offensive side, Malik Cunningham is a dark horse Heisman contender. Now, I don't think that he'll win it. He may not even finish in the Final Four, but he's certainly going to be ACC Player of the Year candidate. I actually have him as my offensive MVP in the ACC this season. The backfield behind him is going to be made even better from his talents. So Cunningham rushed for over 1,000 yards on the ground a season ago, threw for over 3,000. Uh, his touchdown to interception ratio was phenomenal, a very efficient quarterback. But the running backs who are going to be helping him out, Jalen Mitchell, he's a banger. He averaged over five yards, almost six yards per carry on the ground a season ago. Travion Cooley got hot at the end of 2021. So you add him into the mix, and then you bring over Tyon Evans, a transfer from Tennessee. He was their leading rusher in Knoxville a season ago, a place that I was just at yesterday. So those three alone, plus the depth that comes with that, I think is going to be really good for Louisville. Their receivers, yeah, they lose Tyler Harrell to the uh, transfer portal. Um, they lost a little bit to graduation, but they bring in Tyler Hudson, T. Huddy from Central Arkansas. Coaches are very, very high on this guy. And let's not forget, Scott Satterfield is running this offense, and he brings in Lance Taylor, who was at Stanford with Christian McCaffrey, and he was at Notre Dame with uh, Kyron Williams. Now he's coming over and he's running the offense or helping run the offense for Louisville, especially directing that running back room and helping direct that ground game, which, by the way, is going to be anchored by five returning starters on that offensive front. So you throw in Malik Cunningham, you have those three backs that I mentioned, Mitchell and Evans and Cooley. You've got that uh, all-star offensive line, probably one of the best in the ACC, headlined by Caleb Chandler. You've got... Um, Lance Taylor helping run things on offense. This is going to be a good offense that will score points. Big test early on when they travel out to Syracuse, New York to take on the Orange. I think that could be a potential trap game, especially in a season when head coach Dino Babers is fighting for keeping his job this year. But I think Louisville comes out of that and then they have to go to Orlando to the bounce house to take on the UCF Knights, a team that will be very good this year. I think they can contend for that top G5 spot. So even if Louisville comes out of that one with a loss, their their home schedule looks pretty good this year. They do have to play Clemson, which is going to be tough, and I'm calling that a loss as well. But I think that they beat NC State at home here at Cardinal Stadium because I think that's the second to last game of the year, and it's a it's in a situation, it's a setup where Louisville, I think, will be in a better position for that game. Uh, that Louisville game for NC State is sandwiched between um, 
two pretty big games. One of them is an Atlantic game. I think it's against, uh, I think it might be against Wake Forest. Can't remember who the first one is, but I know that their, their game after they play Louisville, NC State that is, is North Carolina, um, a, a team that they, they lost to and shouldn't have lost to last year. So, um, so that game's gonna be on their mind. And uh, Louisville then plays in the Commonwealth Cup game against the University of Kentucky, a team that they uh, lost to last year, but I believe the, the road team in that Louisville-Kentucky matchup has won seven of the last eight meetings. So it pays to be the road team. Louisville is going to Lexington this year, so I think that, that could be a win. Again, I'm calling for the Louisville Cardinals to win eight games this season playing really well here at Cardinal Stadium with the Cardinal Express behind them and the Ville, everybody coming out, packing this place and getting loud. This is one of the more underrated loud houses in the ACC. So again, thanks for watching. Continue to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, at ChappieCFB. Check out the website, cfpcollegefootball.com. Thanks for letting me sh share in my passion. I'm Chappie and this is what I know.